Hello and welcome to Let's Try. Well, <clears throat> I said I would probably not cover too many, if any, uh, vampire survivor likes, and uh, I think that's still true. I think that this is a an actual evolution of the genre to something like uh, more resembling what I would consider more of a game. That sounds like a lot of shade thrown, but anyway, this game already looks and plays really, really well. Uh, borrowing a couple of the addictive traits of uh, survivor likes but doing its own thing and uh, playing a little bit more i don't know let's say proactively than uh than its other sibling genres anyway this is kill night um huge photosensitive sens warning if you have uh epilepsy issues and you will not want to watch this it is super flashy so um anyway with that being said let's uh let's get in I, I will put a link in the description you can try out the demo for free this is the demo version let's have a have a look we have tons of game modes apparently but uh, just the main game mode i am curious about this immediately um i guess okay this is promising this looks like um meta progression is going to be in the form of replayability and different equipment and play styles i like that a lot um, over the upgrade your weapons but uh, everything about this game feels pretty good so far um, it is a kind of wave based you know bullet hell type game but uh, with some twists it's it's a lot it, it immediately kind of puts you on edge it almost feels like a devil daggers uh, type game let's uh, absorb those oh I'm already not in a good way let's do that though so there's a lot to explain. Um, I, I went through the tutorials and I was a little unsure like how many tutorials there like were to before you should even like start the game. Not that it took me that long, but um, basically we have points that we're going to be collecting. Uh, this will undoubtedly lead to some kind of collection or maybe they're just points to be honest. I'm not sure just yet. Um, we have several different abilities that we are leveling up including um a heavy shooter i think i've already died yeah okay so we are kind of going i think for the devil devil daggers or maybe i'm just like really bad let's try again um we've we've got uh, a heavy gun this own this is only like we only get ammo if we make kills with our sword so there is that um so this is like there's a lo lots of like tiers of like actual weaponry to our disposal um am i already taking like tons of damage here uh, one thing I, I have like one minor criticism but i'm gonna get to that a little bit later um we've got several i don't know even how to put it several different powers here if i hold down my like point absorption button and then also hit the wraith button there's you know there's a lot uh going on there and you have to kind of you know figure this stuff out like you know what you want to use on the fly i think maybe there's even possibly a little bit too much going on uh then we have our like basic pistol range weapon which needs to be reloaded and you can even reload with your sword which will then do like a big old attack like that then we have like parrying counters uh, so it looks like our, our power does increase. That's, you know, good to know. Let's go ahead and do some, throw in a couple of uh, heavy attacks in there and uh, some sort of attacks just to change things up. I'm, I'm going to assume that certain attacks are going to work better for certain um, enemies. Let's go ahead and uh, throw out a wraith attack. And then, like, also we gain wraith points uh, based on, like, making kills with the wraith charge and i'm gonna get all my terminology wrong because i i you know wasn't paying that close attention i was just trying to focus on learning how to play the game like physically and not you know learn the terminology but um there's a lot it's, it's quite quite a like quite a lot going on for like the first minute or so and you know the game has high expectations of the player and i think that that's good you know that's actually really promising oh I appreciate that like the whole point absorption thing is kind of like built in uh, you don't have to like wait for you know that one power up that lets you absorb everything also we've got um, a combo counter on the top right you might have noticed that that will like increase 
depending on how many kills in a row you are making I'm trying to also focus on playing the game which i don't know if i'm doing a very good job right now oh yeah so then we've got these guys these guys have carapace armor whoa um which they will die immediately to your wraith blast or whatever you want to call it um so they're they're like an extra level of uh having to focus and uh, you can like blast the, their carapace off but it will just take a little bit longer but i'm just gonna oh god and then we have a dash i forgot about the dash always forget about the dash um i'm not sure what those what wraith points do they told me but i you know i forget Oop. oh and apparently the level changes up in addition to like new enemy types being introduced which like there's already enough going on my goodness oh god i don't know how much health i have left but i have to imagine not a lot oh god uh we do have a parry i mentioned that there's a parry but um it's it's like I, i've never been good at parries in the first place you basically are uh I have to watch for like specific enemy types that will do a flashing red kind of ability uh, or attack and then you can like parry them and you can even like super parry them yeah i died i think i did i did much better though that time uh you can like super parry them where you'll like hold the button down and then you get like bullet time for a short period of time there's a lot going on there's a lot going on and i think that i have i appreciate that there's a lot going on you oh man i'm already taking lo loads of damage here i'd like here's my criticism criticism though because sometimes i forget like i'll mention i have a criticism and i'll forget to actually say the criticism but here's the thing that i'm not too keen on um look at all the information in your bottom left corner like i i have a vague idea of what it is but can you imagine like while you're trying to do all of this intense stuff um, and like dodging and charging your wraith thing and all of the stuff and then try and like make sense of that information in the bottom left corner i really think that um something i'd like to see if if there isn't already an option or like some kind of equipment that lets you do it that it would relegate that information to um being a circle around your character because that's where you're looking a lot of the time you're looking at your character you want to try and you know be dodging much of the enemy projectiles the enemies themselves um these are things that you care about and i don't think i will ever look in that bottom left corner if i intend to survive things are going pretty well right now i gotta say oh shoot gotta say um but that's i think my only criticism is that i think the ui uh, could use maybe a slight tweak b based on like the priorities of the player um but you know I, I say that not having played the game for too long um this is mostly blind i just did the tutorial i i say that having not played it too long because i um i, I have a funny feeling that those options are in the game they're just not immediately accessible and that's fine that's fair fair enough maybe maybe then my criticism is that they should just be available right away oh ow that was pretty good that was actually a heavy gun reload i don't know i didn't know that that was even an option okay we need to do some um we need to do some sword kills here so yeah we we can knock off the carapace there And actually something i should consider doing is just using my pistols and then as soon as the reload comes up you get a big sword attack so let's just like try that for a bit and that actually does some pretty good damage and then we can get some wraith kills so yeah you can get you can definitely get into the flow of this and obviously the game i haven't mentioned this but the, the game looks really nice like it's just kind of nice to see a game like this not looking like um uh you know primitive it looks it looks like it's got some fidelity chops to it it's still got like kind of a old-fashioned style like maybe a psx kind of style 
I, I think uh, you know, sometimes we give the uh, PSX or the PS1 a lot of credit. Um, okay, bud. But still, uh, you know, I think it does have uh, some some vibes of the PS1. Oh. I am just trying to survive right now. I'm just trying to focus on not dying. That one pretty good. You can, uh, the, you know, enemies are telegraphed pretty well. You can tell, you know, when they're doing stuff. Oh God. You know what? Oh, we don't have uh, an ability just yet. All right. Those spinning blades uh, definitely give me some concern. Now we have lasers. Oh, goody lasers. Lasers you can dash through. I think the dash is uh, does actually give you iframes. But um, you it does have a slight cooldown, which can mess you up. Obviously, the sword attack doesn't do anything when you're not pointed at anything. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, you know what? Get out of my face. You do even get a vibe for the... Re I'm usually not a fan of the whole reload gimmick. But I think it works in this game because they they add a couple of extra twists to it. I I like that um, it's twisty. You know, it's got a twist. I like that you can combine it with like a, an absorb, or you can combine it with a uh, sword attack to give you give you a bit of, a bit more oomph. Okay, we've increased our power. This is good. Ooh. I'm trying my best to get rid of that guy. He is not dying. All right. So it seems that there is a, a very tight window of uh, doing the, the absorb or the sword attack. Oh, God. Okay, there's there's the lad that does the, uh, the power attack, and you can parry him. And that's actually yet another tool in your arsenal, because if you can parry him consciously, not, like, completely instinctually like what I just did, Oh, ow. Then um, you have the potential to actually give yourself a bit of breathing room with some with some bullet time. Okay, this is uh, this is going very well right now. I'm I'm having a great time. This is a really fun game. Oh god. Ooh. Oh, I need to I need to make some sword kills. Which sucks because these guys are always up in my grill. So I need to do like a sword kill and then a dash. And then we can actually get some bullets. Ah, shoot. Ah, damn it. Okay, let's not do any more sword kills for a moment. I, I'm honestly better off just... Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm better off just like running away and like focusing. And trying not to die. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Don't don't sword attack that guy. That guy does not like to be sword attacked. New best. Okay, well, let's go back. And what I'd like to do is now check out the equipment because this is going to this is going to really matter. Because there's already a lot going on. There's a lot going on. So if we then add new things to this. So this is fires a steady, reliable stream of bullets. Overdrive, increased fire rate. Or fire short range, high damage spread shot. Overdrive, spinning spread shot burst. Sure. And then Emerald Remembrance. Uh, Carne Carnelian Memory. Uh, who could say what that is? And we need to earn more points to get those. So we got some new equipment. 
um there's potentially other swords as well reach a kill stream of 750 in a single layer oh i see so we need to not just get points but we also have to like you know achieve and it tells us in the left there uh what to do yeah you can detonate carapace i'm not really sure how that works oh this is our new gun i don't know how i feel about it right away but i'm gonna give it a chance maybe i'll like it more but yeah this game's really fun and um you know like i know like, i give the vampire survivor genre a lot of heck um i you know i i think that the 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 huge wave of vampire survivor like games has finally passed i don't think that um there's nearly as many uh, every single day as there used to be um so i i welcome games like this that are like yeah let's uh let's learn some something in fact you know it's maybe even doing the game a disservice by comparing it to the rest of the crowd because like really it's not the same kind of game it's it's a bullet hell ish game or heaven whatever you like uh it's a wave based arena game and it's definitely like i don't know it's it's got that arcade vibe and it's got a lot of addictive nature to it you know the juice the um just the 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 kind of little rewards in the form of graphical fidelity of uh music of sound effects these are all things these are all in the playbook of the survivor like genre but it's doing its its own thing completely it's it's more like following in the footsteps of like classic arcade games almost like a um god what robotron that am i may is it have we gotten to that point where robotron i'm forgetting about robotron i don't know about the only thing i'm a little unsure of is, for myself is i don't know if i can i i re can rely on myself to use the gun sorry the sword to make kills without taking damage like a lot of damage also i'm not sure where our um where our health is like there's the that information really needs to be presented in a better light i think like i say I, I i think it should be a circle around our character obviously uh ui i'm not a ui interface designer but i i just think that that's where we are focusing our our uh attention and so i'm um, looking in the bottom left kind of feels like a, a an exercise in futility whoa that was close I should collect more of this stuff. I don't know what that stuff does, but I think it does actually increase our movement speed and attack damage. Doing doing some good stuff here. Oh, you can do like a. Haha! <laughs> I've I've learned a thing. That was uh, probably in the tutorial, but I forgot about. It. You can do uh, the just a basic pistol shot and if you do it in, at the right time you'll do a, like a little trick which is a lot of fun i like that yeah i i really like i think this is possibly a day one purchase and i you know what that's high praise coming from me because i really thought i was truly sick of this kind of game and the fact that this like had some uh, compelling hook um that you know it, it pulled me back it, it made me rethink my stance on like no more no more of this but i like this this is you know sometimes uh, execution is everything oh that was bad oh. i'm still not sure where our health is I'm sure it's somewhere really obvious. I think it's actually our wraith points. I think it's represented represented by our wraith. So let's try it one more time. I'm 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 gonna focus more on trying to get those wraith kills. I think those are actually far more important than I've been giving them credit for. I and I think I've come around to this shotgun. I think it's it's actually pretty cool. Uh, one thing I'm not super clear on is like when you absorb those it seems like that sometimes happens and then sometimes doesn't 
instead i get a, a different way of you know like now now when i do this it's i guess it's our wraith ability so what i should do is line everything up and then get some wraith kills and now i get the absorption back okay so that's kind of the flow of things i need to do things in that order Oh, yeah, I really need to not sword attack that guy. And I need to use my Wraith ability a lot better. <laughs> These are the things I need to do. And then... Uh, I don't know why it didn't absorb there. It should have absorbed. I guess it's because we already have our Wraith ability. I should I don't know if that wraith ability is even what it's supposed to be called Okay, so I, I think I'm I'm learning better like the actual fundamentals of how to play this game properly There's a lot to it's it's very much a balancing act Let's uh, get some of those points because we need to get that Wraith ability. I keep pressing the wrong button. I don't actually want to use my... The, I think the heavy weapon is the only weapon that I could probably safely ignore. And as long as I'm using everything else to the best of my ability, it's going to work out pretty well. Okay, um, when the next wave hits, I'm going to... Oh, I still don't have my... Uh my way my my wraith blast do i have it yet now i have it okay cool that was pretty good actually that was actually really good in fact i even got my second my wraith ability like back immediately okay learning things learning things we're doing well and i gotta like the the reload ability i gotta use it to the best you know better of my ability here because if i do it i don't have to spend so much time running around picking up power-ups oh that was not good that's okay we've got some we've we've got plenty of leniency right now oh, i thought i had my wave my 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 wraith blast thing Whatever it's called. Ooh. Oh god, not good, not good. That's okay. We got we got we 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 recovered. I guess. I think we recovered. And I don't have any heavy ammo. The one time I wanted it, I need to use that way better. I guess uh, I should use my sword against the ranged type characters and that way I'm not um, putting myself at risk and now you know I'll have the heavy weapon when I really need it okay let's um, get a good shot in there oh that was almost really bad Uh, I, I should also use my sword when yeah like use my sword uh, on my reload more often because actually I think that is safe trying to find a good time to use that but I didn't okay hold on Ugh. Oh, that wasn't bad, actually. I didn't take any damage. Cool. Okay. Next wave that hits, we're going to do a Wraith Blast here. Uh, whoop. Oh, I, I waited too long and I let my... I let my uh, combo run out. Oh, well. I'm still learning things. I'm learning, honestly, just the, like how to use my tools. That was not... That was not what I wanted. Ah, damn it. Okay. Whoa! I forgot about that guy. 
that was the one time i was i was should have comboed and i did not combo let's do let's do one more collect 200 health shards in a single layer how does one do that i wonder this is really this is a really cool game <laughs> like i'm just i could see myself playing the demo for this like for a good couple of hours I'm sure the people out there are like, oh, that's rookie numbers. And I don't think you, uh, you underestimate how, like, little time I generally spend with uh, any one game. I'm very much like, I, I, you know, I got the, got the video out. Let's, let's, I'll move on. Oh, that was bad. Okay, hold on. Let's do that. And, um, I mean, I gotta, I gotta remember when to collect, when to fire, and then when to also use my sword attack. Like, there's a lot, there's a lot going on. Alright, let's wait for the next wave before I uh, use my Wraith Blast. Good, good, good. I think I, I don't know if I waited too long and my combo reset probably that's one thing I gotta not do probably I gotta be way more aggressive about using that than I am being oh this is none of this is good ah, try I'm trying to to get those reloads off but it's not it doesn't always happen didn't mean to do that. I always press the wrong button when I want to do my wraith thing. Okay. Uh, that's not good. Taking taking damage when we don't. I'm getting uh, a little bit too ahead of myself. I think. Okay, that was pretty good. Oh, except these guys are still alive. I I don't I don't know what the game's answer for me ending up on terrain that's about to disappear is just yet. It's an interesting thing. It kind of just I feel like I just got shuffled along a little bit. Also, health regenerates a lot slower than you would hope, um, which is not a criticism. It's just an uh, observation. Okay, things. I, I'm, I'm starting to kind of recover, getting into the uh, the groove a little bit. Trying to. I'm trying to get as many gems as I can. I guess I have my wraith ability. Just use it. We're not gonna we're not gonna try and line up the perfect shot or anything like that. Okay, and we're keeping up our combo. This is good. If I could get to 750, that'd be kind of uh, awesome. So far so good. I would like to get a good wraith shot actually used it correctly for once instead of uh accidentally using a heavy blast which you know what by the way let's let's use a couple of those and now that i've used it i should uh i'm gonna try and mix up with a couple of uh sword attacks just to recover some of my ammo that's working out well oh not not good not good too much to think about Okay, we have enough for our ammo. We don't have to worry about that right now. Um, we got a Wraith Blast. Let's use it. Kill power increased. Good, good, good. That was not good. And we lost our combo. No! No! Okay, well, well you know, can't, can't have it all. Oh, my eyes are actually hurting. <laughs> I can I have not blinked for far too long. 
Oh, I didn't I didn't use the oh, I pressed it. No, I pressed it though. Yo, I pressed it. Ah, uh, what? I swear I pressed it. Oh, well, I guess I didn't press it. What's the sorry, difficulty acolyte? Enemies are quicker and more dangerous, requiring a complete understanding of the knight's arsenal. <laughs> interesting interesting and then uh do we have anything new i don't think so i don't know what this did for us emerald remembrance Car Carnel carnelian memory i don't know this is kill knight i really like this game i am definitely gonna wish list this i am definitely gonna check this out when it comes out and i will be playing a bunch of this in my off time um if you did enjoy this uh first of all let me know in the comments what you think of kill knight and also check the link to, in the description for the demo uh consider leaving a like and uh subscribing if you're new to my channel i'll see you guys next time take it easy